Okay, so how do we build it? How do we build it? Okay, so let's just let's just go into a few different things here, okay? Because I'm sure a lot of a lot are really interested in okay, how do you how do you actually do this? Like uh, it's 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 a cool it's a cool app, but I want to I want to sort of take it to the take you to to the next level. So how how I did it in this particular case was I did I've done most of it in Lovable actually. So I built this uh, from scratch with Lovable. And if we have a look here, how long is it? How long has it taken me? 120 edits. So 120 edits to get this far. And I really just had the, I, I sort of just had the vision in my mind, honestly. I didn't, I didn't have too much of an outline. I just had the idea and then just sort of visually worked with the AI to um, to make it a reality. Now, what's what's powering behind this? What's powering underneath this? is 11 labs so 11 labs has conversational ai now okay so this is relatively new and why i like 11 labs is because they have a they have a lot of the back-end infrastructure already set up for like useful ai agents right obviously they've got all the voices they're the leading um sort of one of the leading voice techs out there okay and then the, they also have the ability to um create a whole lot of agents but also manage those agents like manage the the voice the uh, prompts um, the uh, knowledge base like you can actually feed it uh, specific knowledge as well uh, and so you can do a lot of things out, out 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 of the box right so if i just come to new agent here so you can start with a blank template like this okay or you can go a support agent um, demo Okay, so you can create an agent and that agent has an ID and you can you can call that agent, you can call this agent here via the your API key and this agent ID. Okay, and then you can uh, customize a whole range of things like the voice, analysis, security, what you can use different widgets, like you create a widget on your site using this as well. And so really what I've done is I've utilized a lot of this back end and customized the front end uh, with Lovable, right? So Lovable enables you to work up really um, creative front ends quite quickly. And so, you know, I, I just built up um, bit by bit, like what the roulette would look like, what the animations would look like, what the, you know, and then I've sort of built an app around it. Like I built like a sign in page, a sign up page, all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. Okay, and so Lovable is just really, High, really good for that. Really good for that that uh, that that front end creation, right? Uh, and then you've got your AI voice avatars here as well. Um, all of this was just set up with Lovable. Okay. So what Lovable does is it just builds a lot of the code out for you. And one of the things that I've really learned over, say, the last few months is that. You, you need to you need to understand you need to fully understand how the AI is building a lot of your apps right how is it building a, a every file every folder you need to you need to understand the patterns of what it's doing and that's how you become much much better at using these tools and being able to reconfigure these tools into anything um, anything that you want right um, and so I've become quite good at that. I've been quite good at understanding how that all works. And so that's what I want to, I want to go into it like a little bit more of the technical detail, like how you can actually build this. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it with no code. Okay. So no code, as uh, many of you probably know, no code is our, is another tool that we've um, developed and recently released. Currently it's on, on, on beta, uh, like released on beta, but we're going to, this is actually going to uh, come off that shortly, and it's going to be a um, fully fledged application. Uh, it's going to be a subscription, but we we have decided internally, or, or I certainly have decided that w this is going to come as part of any enterprise DNA subscription. So anyone with an enterprise DNA subscription gets full access to um, no code. So we're just working out a seamless um, logging in um, functionality there, uh, but that will be happening within the next week or so. What I want to do is I want to show it. So, but currently it's still free. So, feel, so please, um, please utilize it as much as you as much as you possibly can right now. Okay. So, 
I just want to show you. Um, so I'll just have to find the correct uh, repo. So the uh, voice circle, circle talk, this is it here. So what you can do with a no code is you can log in with your GitHub credentials and you can see all of your um, private repos if you also have your GitHub token as well. And so what you can do, by the way, what you can do, by the way, this is, this is actually quite new. Um, so you, if you're in GitHub like this, what you can do now as well is you can go to voice or circuit talk like this, okay? And you can um, you can come into here, paste it in, and then go just go no code dot co, okay? Just change that, and because I'm logged in and I've got my GitHub token, so uh, like uh, logged into the background, this should should show up for me. Oh no, it's not. It's not good. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'm not sure why that's happened, but it sh should be a, should be a lot smoother. Okay, so let's let's talk through it. Let's talk through it. Okay, so let's let's imagine this on the front end. Okay, this is the, these are the sort of deep dives that I am going to really you know, really enjoy doing over the over the next um, next while because this is this is how you take your vibe coding game to that next level, right? You take it to that next level by understanding what is going on in your code by truly understanding. That's that's um. That is the absolute key. 